My name is Susan Perkin and I'm a Professor of Physical Chemistry at Oxford University. In our research we study electrolytes. Electrolytes are fluids which contain a really high concentration of ions. In particular, we're interested in those sort of electrolytes that you might find in batteries or in other energy storage devices. We discovered that concentrated electrolytes, those fluids which contain a very high density of ions, behave totally differently to dilute electrolytes. In our experiments, we've revealed some important details about how to understand and therefore how to predict the structure and the behaviour of those electrolytes. The instrument that we use for these experiments is called a surface force balance. We've been recognised with this award for our experiments that use the surface force balance in a particular way, measuring with a kind of precision which has not been obtained before. If you want to design a battery which will charge up faster or which will be able to store more energy, then you would use this kind of fundamental insight to be able to choose your ions and choose your solvent and design the electrode-electrolyte interface in such a way that you could achieve that goal. One of the less obvious applications of our work involves the dissolution of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the oceans. This is the process that, if we can accelerate it, will help us in some way to mitigate against the increase of CO2 in the atmosphere. The favourite part of my job is speaking to the students and postdocs who work in my lab, and we learn from each other. That is when the real ideas come, when you're interacting with someone who's been thinking about the same problem as you. I'm delighted that this award is going to bring some attention on this field of work. I also think that it's going to give us confidence to keep working in this quite difficult direction and to really work harder to solve those problems that we see in front of us. What inspires me about science is that there are so many simple questions that nobody knows the answer to. It inspires me more and more as I progress through science and find simpler and simpler questions that are still intriguing us today.